Hey guys, welcome back to We Like To Draw. I'm Craig and I like to draw. And if you're watching this, I'm guessing you do too. So last week we looked at creating fire in Photoshop and we used Scorpion with the fire. He was holding the fire and he was staring at it like it was the best thing ever. Well, this week we're gonna do a similar effect that involves light and that's blooming. So what blooming is in, I guess, in drawings and stuff, you see it all the time in, thing, in video games, in movies and in other drawings is when light bleeds over the subject matter or the environment or whatever, it looks really bright. So to introduce this one, we have the Vault Dweller from the original Fallout game, so Vault 13. Now, again, with all of my uh, drawings, we have uh, our layers here. So here's our line art. So there you go, we've got the actual character and the cave that he's walking out from. So it's really bright. He's walking out of the cave that um, you start in at the very beginning of Fallout 1 and he's seeing daylight for the first time in his life. So here's the base color. Here's our shade and light. And that's it for now. So what we're gonna do is we'll take away the sketch layer, we'll just turn that off. And we're gonna, we're not gonna leave it white. We might change the color. We can leave it white if we want to and do a light or white uh, light bleed over him. But I think in this case, we'll change it. So we're gonna make a new layer down the bottom and we're just gonna call it light. We go over to here to the color selection, double click, and we're gonna pick a color that looks like like light of some sort. Now, for this to work, it's it's gotta be pretty bright. So we might pick a very close to white up here like that. So it's a bit of white with a bit of a tinge. So hit okay. Get the paint bucket tool. Now, make sure you have all layers ticked off in this case. We don't want it on this time, we want it off. So then we're just gonna apply the paint bucket and there's our light, it's very subtle. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this layer here, which I've created above liner and it was called Bloom Done Earlier because I was actually gonna do bloom effects earlier than I thought, but I didn't end up doing it. So in this case, it's just gonna be bloom. Now what we're gonna do is we'll select the paintbrush tool and we'll go opacity here and we'll drag the layer all the way down to one, one percent. So if I start drawing like this, you can't see much at all. And that's the point, where well, you can see a little bit there, but barely anything. So we're just gonna control Alt Z, get rid of that. Then hit the paintbrush tool again, and just draw a straight line. What we're then gonna do is we're gonna right click on the bloom layer, and let's see, hit blending options. So you got all these options here, but we want to hit outer glow. We'll tick that. And see this little square there? We're going to tick that again, and it comes up with another color picker. But if we move outside, you see the, the eyedropper tool, it automatically pops up. So we're going to use the automatic eyedropper, click on the outside to get the exact same color as that light, then we're going to hit OK. So there's a bunch of variables here that you can play with, but we're gonna chuck opacity all the way up to 100%, and we're gonna change blend mode from screen to normal. I'll move this window aside slightly, and now I'm gonna start playing with the spread and size down the bottom, so look at that. Do you see that big glow? Ah! Well, that looks terrible. But we're gonna get nice and subtle, probably about maybe like that. That looks pretty good. That's not too bad. So we'll hit OK. But we don't want it just sitting there. So we'll grab this uh, square selection tool, make a big selection over it, and just delete it. Now we'll zoom out and we'll go onto the Vault Dweller right here. With the paint uh, paint bucket, oh, paint brush tool, sorry, I can't get my English right, even though I'm Australian. We can't speak English very well, might. So we're going to just start doing some bleed effects like this. So I'm just drawing over it very slightly. Now, that looks pretty good, but I don't want to do too much. For example, if I do this, it looks really kind of, I guess, overexposed. So we only want to be a little bit. See, that looks all right. This might take a while. So if I zoom out, 
There you go. So there's the bloom effects. There's the light that's bleeding over the cave walls and over the vault dweller himself. Now, similar to the fire tutorial, I think it is important to use like shading and lighting colors. Like as you can see here, you've got dark blue here and then you've got the light blue there. It's really important you do that because if we turn that off, I'll just turn off the shade and light layer there. It looks really plain and uh, I was a bit silly and I actually had some colors in the wrong layers where they shouldn't have been but if you want the full effect I suppose you you really need that that'll just give it so much more life now the last thing we can do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight shade slash light as well as color base and I'm going to merge them together now what I can do here is to make the lighting I, guess, I wouldn't say realistic, but to make it look a little bit better, I'm going to go into Filter here, followed by Render and Lighting Effects. So there's Lighting Effects there. Drop from uh, drop down menu from Spotlight to Omni, and I might just put it under his arm here and make it a little bit smaller. Now this may look good, or it might look completely shit. So let's find out. Hit OK. That looks all right a little bit overexposed there under the arm. It doesn't make much sense. So Control alt z go filter, render, lighting effects. Let's try and move it somewhere else. Maybe, maybe about here, head level. And we might turn down the intensity by dragging this part down. Oops, that's not right. Let's hit OK. That looks pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. And what we can do here is, you see that little pit boy? He's got the pit boy there, so let's give that its own little glow. So again, hit make a new layer. I'm just going to call it Pip. I'm going to grab that green, grab it there. Right click and blending options. Add a glow. Pick that color you want. I drop the green. Hit normal on blend mode, crank it all the way up. Alrighty, so there you go. There's the Vault Dweller leaving Vault 13 for the first time and it's really bloody bright because of those bloody bloom effects. Uh, if you like this video, please like and share the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook. And don't forget to have a look at our comics over at GameRevolution.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week.